The Seasonic Focus GX750 is part of the new Focus GX series of power supplies, which is the successor of the Seasonic Focus Plus series. This unit has a gold rating for efficiency and a total wattage of 750 watts with a fully modular cable design. The power supply is available at the moment of this review for around 120 US dollars or euros, depending on the retailer and if the stocks are available. Other features apart from the efficiency and modular cables include a fanless operating mode and a manufacturer's offered warranty of 10 years, which speaks volumes about the quality of the internal components of this unit. The overall design of the Focus GX750 Gold is simple and it is in fact pretty identical with the original Focus units, as in it has little to no stickers or graphics applied on the case. However, there are some elements that are meant to make the power supply stand out from the crowd in terms of looks. The side of the power supply has an angular design shaped into the metal casing, with the Seasonic and Focus emblems painted directly on the upper left and lower right corners. The front side of the unit features the modular cable connections in all of their glory and here there are some distinctive design choices. First of all, thankfully, each connector is labeled and showcased correctly. Not only that, but the labels are actually painted on the surface of the power supply and not just some paper labels that can be easily damaged with time. Also, each connector has a notch at the top to clip and secure with the cable, which is very nice. The fine grill is identical with the one used on the other Focus power supplies, even the original series, which is nothing bad. After all, it is just a fan grill. All it has to do is keep your fingers out of the fan. Behind it, we have a single 120mm fan, which has a maximum speed of 2200 RPM and uses a 3-pin connector for both power and the speed control. Fortunately, the usage of a connector means that the fan is completely removable and serviceable or you can even replace it. A great thing, especially since many units are using soldered on fan connectors. The fan in question is made by Honghua and has the model number HA1225H12FZ. It uses a fluid dynamic bearing system and is controlled through Seasonic's own hybrid fan control. Speaking of which, at the back of the power supply and on the left side of the main exhaust port, there is a small switch, which is labeled as hybrid mode. When pressed, the fan will work in one of the three modes available, fanless mode, silent mode and cooling mode. Obviously, fanless mode means that the fan will not spin until the power supply will reach a critical temperature, while the silent mode and cooling mode are just the fan spinning at different speeds based on the internal temperature of the power supply. By adding a button to switch between the fanless and the rest of the operating modes, you are removing the, any noise from the power supply if it doesn't encounter a high load that requires the active cooling of the fan. It is a small thing which makes a big difference. While the Focus GX750 is fully modular, the cables also have some thought put into them. First of all, most of the cables are ribbon style flat to reduce the amount of space they require inside the system. Second of all, the flat cables are easier to route around the case and they can also be stacked easily and tied together. The only cable that is not flat is the 24 pin cable that powers the motherboard. This one instead has an all black sleeving covering most of its surface. It is still flexible enough to route and will not clash with the rest of the system and its look. Ok, but enough about how this power supply looks like. After all, the important thing about not only this power supply but all power supplies is how they work or better said how efficient they truly are. To find more about this, we have to go beyond any warranty stickers, which I shall do right now. With the upper casing removed, we get to see what makes this power supply tick and it is a familiar sight, especially if you have seen some of my previous reviews which had as their subject Seasonic units or Seasonic based units. The Focus GX750 uses more or less the same platform as the rest of the units from the Focus series. This includes the original Focus series and the newer models. I say more or less because there are differences not only between each series of power supplies but especially between each power supply model. The main capacitor used in this unit is made by Rubicon and has a maximum operating temperature of 105 degrees Celsius with these specifications. For passive cooling, the power supply uses solid aluminum heatsinks placed next to vital components. This is done to maintain a low noise output and help cool the power supply internally when the fan is not spinning at all. We start at the back of the unit with the filtering which is done by two X capacitors, four Y capacitors and finally two coils, all neatly packed together. 
the MOSFETs used by this power supply are made by Infineon and have the model number 5R190CE. These are directly attached to the main heatsink of the power supply, which is great, as they require good cooling. Next to them we see an electromagnetic relay made by Hongfa Relay, with the model number HF46FG. The capacitors used in the Focus GX750 are Japanese, both manufactured by Nichicon and Nippon Chemicon. The Focus series, even from the start, has always been known for having an internal wireless design, which means that there are little to no wires going from one PCB to the next. This not only improves the cooling of the internal components because there are less intrusions to the airflow, but also it lowers the possibility of a failure thanks to wiring or loose connections or even soldering of those wires. There is also good to see plenty of silicone around the coils of the power supply. This is done to reduce the coil wind noise, a thing which many manufacturers don't really bother with, which makes Seasonic as a brand even more appealing, especially since these units are offered with a 10 year warranty, again making a statement for the reliability of the internal components and of the platform as a whole. Testing a power supply was never easy, not because it's such a complex thing to do, but because it requires expensive and extensive specialized equipment, such as a dedicated load tester and other measuring units, just to name a few. In our case, this at the moment is not possible, so I will be using my own testing system to provide the load on the power supply that we are going to review. I measure everything through software and also with a multimeter connected to one of the cables of the power supply while the system and the power supply itself are running. We start with the efficiency and with a system that places a load of around 500 watts of power we get to see the rough numbers in terms of performance. And in this test the Focus GX750 reached a maximum efficiency of 91.8%, which places the Focus GX750 right on the top of the gold rated power supplies that I've tested so far, being better than the original Seasonic Prime and the Ryotoro Enigma, which if you have seen that review is essentially a rebranded original Seasonic Focus unit. Not bad at all. Also, this is what we should expect as any power supply will run at its best with a load of approximately 60 to 70 of its total capacity. This is again one reason why I and other reviewers will always recommend a power supply that has a wattage that is above the requirements of a given system. Not only to have some headroom for your system and some peace of mind, but also to have the power supply run at its peak efficiency. The next test involves placing the same load of 500 watts on the power supply but measuring the voltage regulation. This is done using a multimeter that is connected to one of the Molex cables of the power supply while the system is running. And the performance is again what we can expect from an improved Seasonic Focus platform, with very little oscillation of the voltage across the board. In fact, with a rough calculation, the oscillation itself on the 12, 5 and 3 volts rails is approximately 1.5 to 1.6 percent, again placing this power supply at the top of the gold rated units in the graphs and ahead of some platinum rated units as well. In terms of the sound, as in actual noise, given that this power supply has the Seasonic hybrid fan control, the idle sound as a value is meaningless, as there isn't any, given that the fan remains turned off for most of the time. With the standard load placed on the power supply, the Focus GX750 reached a maximum sound value of 30 decibels, measured at a distance of 10 cm away from the system and the power supply, a result which makes this power supply stand strong next to models such as the Be Quiet Pure Power 11 or the original Seasonic Focus Plus 850 watts Gold. The Seasonic Focus GX750 Gold has a price of around 120 US dollars or euros, and for that you get a good looking power supply with no unnecessary design elements, such as, I don't know, RGB or the Ultra Mega Super Gaming stickers which are everywhere now. What you will get instead is a complete modular design with flat ribbon style cables and a 10 year manufacturer's warranty, among other things. The performance of the Focus GX750 is great, the efficiency is good and the same can be said for the voltage regulation. The noise or lack of it is also a bonus, especially since thanks to Seasonic's own hybrid fan control system, the fan itself won't start spinning when the power supply is not loaded enough. Another good thing about this power supply is the internal design, with high quality components and good soldering across the PCB surface. Also the usage of wires is kept to a minimum to not only remove any potential restriction for the airflow, but also to reduce the chances of faults or flows with the said wires. However, if there is something to complain about, is the usage of a Rubicon capacitor as the main capacitor of the power supply. 
I would have liked to see either a Nichicon or a Nippon Chemicon capacitor used instead. And in some other reviews and photos of this power supply, those brands are used. So perhaps this is a thing that varies across regions, batches, if not even models. If you liked this review, then you can perhaps consider subscribing for more. And if you want to support the channel directly, then in the description below you can find the Patreon and Subscriber Star pages of the channel.